Hi friends, in this video we see some uh, most, uh, uh, most important objective type questions. The first question is the dark lines of solar spectrum are known as. Okay, so the answer is option C, Fraunhofer lines. Okay, so dark lines is caused by selective absorption of the sun or stars radiation at a specific wavelength by the various elements exiting as gases in its atmosphere. Okay, so the torque lines is named by the uh, Fraunhofer. Okay, so we call it Fraunhofer lines. Okay, so the next one, a light bulb is placed between two mirror that is plane mirrors inclined at an angle of 60 degree number of images formed are okay so uh, we use the formula 360 by theta minus 1 okay here theta value is 60 degree then substitute the value of theta equal to 60 then we get the number of images is um, images are 5 okay so the answer is uh, a Next one, the PN junction diode is used as, okay, um, here the answer is option B, a rectifier. A rectifier means it is a device used to convert the alternating voltage or alternating current into direct voltage or direct current, okay. So, the, the junction diode has the property offering low resistance and allowing current to flow through it throw it in the forward biased condition this property is used in the process of rectification that is rectification means uh, convert um, alternating voltage into uh, direct voltage okay so the device is the rectifier so the pn junction diode it is used as a rectifier in the circuit okay so the option is b correct option is b next one the dimensional formula for inductance is Okay, see so the formula for inductance equal to magnetic flux by current. Okay, so the dimension formula for magnetic flux is M L square T power minus 2 A power minus 1. Then current is in A. Okay, so when the, denom the denominator A comes into the uh, numerator, it begins uh, minus 1, isn't it? So we can write M L square T power minus 2 A power minus 2. Two, okay, so the uh, correct answer is option A, M L squared T power minus 2, A power minus 2, okay. The next one, heavy water is, heavy water is a compound of deuterium and oxygen. The option, uh, the correct option is uh, D, okay. So, the next one, the units of gravitational intensity, okay. So, the, gra the definition for gravitational intensity is the force on a unit mass of a point in the field okay so the unit is uh, m s minus 2 okay so the answer is option c uh, the other unit of gravitational intensity is newton per kg okay so that is force per mass okay uh, the, this uh, this also correct one next one hepler's law of area based on the answer is B. Okay. So, Kepler's law of area is based on the conservation of angular momentum. Okay. So, the next one, universal gas constant is. The equation for universal gas constant is Cp minus Cv. The correct option is A. Okay. Next one, Curie temperature is. So, Curie temperature is a temperature uh, at the temperature uh, at the above the above that temperature uh, the ferromagnetic changes to paramagnetic that temperature is called the curie temperature okay so the ferromagnetic uh, losses their property and it begins into ferromagnetic so the answer is uh, c okay the next one energy gap of a semiconductor is of the order of okay um, the answer is A, 1 electron volt. Okay. So, the energy gap of semiconductor uh, is, uh, is the of the order is 1 electron volt. Next one, to convert a galvanometer into voltmeter, so must connect here. Okay. So, um, 
we can, we can take on uh, galvanometer now we want to convert this galvanometer into voltmeter then uh, we connect uh, the vol uh, voltmeter with high resistance in series okay the this circuit diagram shows the galvanometer is connected to the high resistance in series then it acts as a voltmeter okay so the answer is uh, option d okay so high resistance in series next question is according to bohr's theory uh, bohr's theory relation between n and radius of orbit is Okay, so the number of orbit and the radius of the orbit is uh, the relation between uh, number of red, uh, red orbit and the radius of orbit is um, or uh, or proportional to n squared. Okay, so the answer is C. Next one, a coil of metal is kept stationary in a non-uniform magnetic field. Okay, so one metal is placed. Um, in a non uniform magnetic field then what happens here neither emf that is electromotive force nor current is induced in the coil okay so the answer is c next one mean life of neutron is about 1000 second okay so the answer is c next one the si unit of magnetic permeability is okay uh, that is um, here the answer is C, tesometer by ampere, that is Tm by A. Okay, so the answer is C. Next one, the time period of a simple pendulum is to be doubled. Its length should be. Okay, so use the formula T equal to, that is the relation between time period of the symbol pendulum and the length of the symbol pendulum is T equal to 2 pi root of L by G. If we double the uh, time period of the symbol pendulum, okay, then the length should be increased 4 times. Okay, so the answer is uh, A. Next one, in an AC circuit, the current. Okay, so in alternating uh, in alternating current, um, it uh, here there are four options. Uh, always leads the voltage, always lags behind the voltage, is always in phase with the voltage, and the fourth one is may lead or lag behind or be in phase with the voltage. Okay, so by in uh, in AC circuit, the current may lead or lag behind or in phase with the voltage. Okay, so the option correct option is D. Okay, so the next one in Boyce's law, what remains constant? Okay, so in Boyce's law, uh, pressure and uh, volume is constant. Okay, so the answer is B. Next one, neutrons are used in nuclear fission because okay, so in nuclear fission, um, the heavy uh, atoms are bombarded with the uh, neutron, isn't it? So. Uh, why we use the neutrons in nuclear fission because neutrons are neutral and hence they are not repelled by the nucleus okay no, not repelled by uh, heavy atom nucleus okay so the correct option is c the next one is the charge on a hole is equal to okay so the hole is nothing but it is a proton okay so uh, the charge of hole is equal to the charge of the proton the answer is C. Next one, when the speed of a DC motor increases the armature current. Okay, so armature is the one, uh, one part of the DC motor. Okay, so when we increase the speed of the DC motor, the armature current also increases. Okay, so the option is, uh, the correct option is A. Next one, in the case of constant alpha and beta of a transistor okay so what is the value of alpha and beta what is the okay so uh, here in a trans uh, uh, first you, you know what is uh, alpha and beta okay if the transistor is connected in common baseboard uh, common base mode the current gain alpha okay so, uh, when we connect the transistor in common base mode the current gain is termed as alpha okay so uh, when then beta means uh, when we uh, the transistor is connected in 
common emitter mode okay so the current gain is termed as beta okay so the alpha values uh, 0.95 to 0.99 that is it is less than 1 but beta value is 50 to 300 okay so the correct option is b beta less than 1 okay so beta greater than 1 alpha less than 1 okay so beta value is 50 to 300 that is it is greater than 1 but alpha value is between 0 0.95 to 0 0.99 okay that is less than 1 so the correct answer is option b next one which of the following are not electromagnetic waves okay so here x rays gamma rays and cosmic rays are electromagnetic waves but beta rays are not electromagnetic waves so the answer is c okay so at absolute some uh, zero silicon actors okay silicon is a semiconductor material okay so at a zero kelvin or at, at absolute zero uh, electrons do not have sufficient energy to jump from valence band to conduction band and therefore it acts as an insulator okay that is um, if the electrons uh, moves there is current uh, current is flow isn't it so but in uh, absolute zero the electrons cannot jump from valence band to conduction band so the silicon acts as a insulator so the option is uh, the correct option answer is uh, option c next to an inductor is connected to AC source when compared to voltage the current in the lead wires. Okay. This circuit shows the AC source is connected to the inductor. Okay. The second, uh, so second picture shows the, graph, the graphical representation of this, um, this picture, the above picture. Okay. So, uh, here um, when an inductor is connected to the AC source, uh, the, uh, the current the current I is lags behind the voltage by phase angle of 5 by 2. Okay. So, the uh, answer is uh, D. Okay. So, that is lags in phase by uh, pi by 2. Okay. That's all friends. Thank you.